I did a flat set over here. Right on this trail, there was a, a big dirt spot here where it looked like a big, huge cow patty was. So I just mixed up the wax dirt and it's real trashy. And I got four holes, but with these ones, I tried some different stuff that I normally don't use for canines just because I think this time of year, everybody's using some sort of skunk essence and that, that smells normal. So I'm trying something different. So I put beaver caster up in the top one. I put Caven's Timber, which is also beaver lore, over there. I put Minnesota Gray Fox Gland over there. And then over there, I put um, Dunlap's Finesse Lore. I, haven't, I don't think I've used any of those besides the Minnesota Gray yet this year. So we'll just see. If they come out of, there's a couple different trails here. If they come out in this field and decide to go right or left, these traps will be right there waiting for them. So let's see what it looks like tomorrow. Here I had a flat set. And, uh, as you can tell, it's a muddy, muddy mess, but hey, we got coyote number, what is this, three? So coyote number three, we're going to get it taken care of. Fur don't look too bad on it. Um, it's eh, maybe rubbing a little bit, but it's still amazing that uh, these footholds picked them up. I really didn't think it would work. Um, I went around and salted my traps the other day, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get this guy taken care of, and uh, yeah, we'll move on down the line. Show you what it looks like. Get this mud ball cleaned up. All right, y'all, I got it taken care of. Um, I'm going to guess it's a female. I haven't checked yet. I'm going to guess it's a female because it's just small. But let's take a look. Oh, like a quarter inside of my cover house. <laughs> yes, it's a female, a real small one. Deep pad catch, though. Um, let this kind of be a lesson uh, for those of you who, I don't know, maybe you're just getting in the trap or thinking about it. This trap has been dug up, peed on, pooped on, messed with, marked. They just keep messing with this trap. And I couldn't get it. It wasn't working very good. As you can tell in this area, if you look right there, it's kind of like a, a mud pit. It's not a catch circle. It's just, it's just wet over here. When I originally set these traps, it was pretty dry. And we've just had nothing but rain. And honestly, I'll be completely honest, I've lost faith in these traps. I didn't think it was going to be all that good. So... You know, the same with this trap here, this catch circle is going to attract them over to this spot. And I've got a, I got a dirt hole over here that the fox will just not leave alone. If you see these little um, cotton swabs and stuff that's hanging out, it's all bait and lore and different stuff. But if you look at the very back, got some fox scat back there where they've been marking. My goal is not to catch the fox here, I want the coyotes. So the fox were playing with my traps, I kept messing with it. I was getting pretty discouraged, honestly, I wanted to yank them. Um, earlier at the beginning of this season, um, I caught a coyote in a foothold, and it's actually over there. So if you go over that knob, so this is the same trail. They like running down this edge of the field. You can tell the field's really, really steep, goes up in this direction, and they tend to run 10 to 15 yards away from the woods. Check it out. This is only probably 10 foot away from the woods, but I set it here because this kind of looked like a decently flat spot, and it paid off. Um, but this trap is going to be out of commission. Um, if I want to get another trap in this area, I'm going to have to re, you know, bring another one down and reset it, which I could do. No big deal. But, um, yeah, female, not the prettiest coyote, but we're just looking to get the coyotes. So if you're looking, just, I don't know how well you can see that, but deep pad, whole pads down there, pan tension's tight, but this trap is now an absolute mud ball. So we got cold weather coming. If I, uh tried to reset this trap it's just going to freeze all up it's just too gunked up so i'll just get a new trap and i'll probably end up just resetting maybe just kind of go a couple feet away maybe set it here seems to be my most solid point using the catch circle i'll probably even since i know they like to uh come i'll probably set it up here a little bit further so yep let's move on down the line almost look like this coon was taking a nap um that's a decent sized coon. Yeah, pretty decent. Mud ball. We'll get them taken care of, but I got double set here. Where the other one is. It's been a while. Oh, it's completely, completely pulled out of the ground. How they do this, it always amazes me, but pulled out and a little present here might be a coyote i don't really know fox but we'll get this coon taken care of 
and uh, I really thought this was a good spot. The wind kind of blows down in these woods a lot. Um, it's hidden from the road, so I could actually actually make catches without getting stuff stolen. But hey, we'll pick up a coon. I'm surprised that they were running last night, but we'll get it taken care of. All right, guys, I got that coon taken care of. Um, no way I'm going to be able to make this trap, remake this trap. I just wanted to show you how important it is to have uh, lots of swivels. So when you buy these Bridger Number Two dogless traps, they come with the swivel right below the trap, and they come with the swivel down there. And other people will add a bunch of swivels. But if you can see, get my hand out of the way, you can see this big like wad of grass and mud. That is all bound up in that chain from that raccoon rotating around and around and around. Right in that swivel, I just got it cleaned out. But that swivel was gonna get completely bound where it wouldn't spin. So I have two, this one was already starting to get bound up. If you don't have enough swivels on your traps, when they start binding, they'll get stuck. And when that animal's moving and, and flailing around like they do, because they're trying to get out, it's gonna injure itself. And if this would have been an animal that I wanted to release, I might not have been able to. We picked one up this morning and kind of shocked me that we did. It's not a very big coon, but I am protecting my land here. So I'll get this coon taken care of. Um, yeah, I leave these um, nest predator traps out, these DPs. I leave them out all season just to keep doing this. And I actually tend to neglect putting bait in them. So I'm surprised there was something in there for him to want. I was looking at this one, it just looks like it got snow in there. So I don't know, maybe just the smell had them curious, but the coon this morning, so get them taken care of and move on down the line. All right, y'all, this weather's getting them moving. Picked up another coyote. I get my gun ready. Looks like it's stuck really good. Caught well, looks like a young doggy, but that makes number four. We'll, uh, get this one taken care of and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, let's give it a look-see. Typical coloring. Stretch it out here. Yeah, female. Um, I had a feeling it looked very small. Uh, fur is not as bad on it as I thought, but I mean, it is typical for where we are here. No special, nothing special in the colors. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I had it set on this trail. Let me kind of show you this is this crest over and there's a big huge valley over there and last year i caught two coyotes um, up this trail a little further i caught two and then down here at the bottom of this hill i caught a bobcat and they did a whole bunch of work this year they cut a whole bunch of new trails on this in this valley and i didn't want to set any cables over there because it just added a whole bunch of new areas for the coyotes to run so i just kind of came over to what was already existing and i found these two trails there's a cable over there too and I thought, you know, if there's a coyote down in that valley and he wants to come up in this area, he's got to come up or she has to come up on one of these two trails. So I just set them both and it paid off. No sign here, just intuition. Um, and it worked. So we picked up number four today. We still have a lot of cables to check. I already got a coon and a coyote today. So today's shaping up to be a good animal movement day. So let's get moving see if we got anything more. Oh. 